This is how we make the moonshine. It's our last resort right here. Just north of Cock County, Tennessee, Mark and Digger take a long shot on gaining access to a prized source of limestone water for their Tennessee whiskey. The problem is that source is owned and operated by a legitimate business. We've looked tail west and crooked for limestone water. Well, I guess no luck. At this point, this is the only option we've got if we can't find a good source of limestone water where we can set up and run, then we're dead in the water on Tennessee whiskey. We, we're kind of out of choices here. Right. Can I help you? Well, hey, John. You happen to remember us? I do. It's been a while since so I've seen you all. Well, we're, we're like bad money. We'll always turn up. How you doing, buddy? English Mountain Spring Water. This is the greatest water in the world. We've always got water there for tempering our liquor. But we've got to have access to it where we can set a still side up. We're, we're kind of up stump. I'm, we're kind of on a bended knee right now, if you will. We, we'd like to talk about your water. John's a businessman. I'm kind of a businessman. And I approach it from, from that angle with you. We really was wondering if you'd care if we captured a little of it. We've emulated Tennessee whiskey pretty good. And that involves good, hard limestone water. Your water's hard enough that it would suit our purpose. I don't see how we can go wrong with your water, but we got to have your blessing as well. You know, I don't know really what John's thinking, his legitimate business here, and Digger and myself wanting to participate in illegal activities. Well, you know, I'd have to think about it a little bit, but I think we can definitely sit down in here and have a chat. He's not shutting us out completely. That's a good sign. Come on in, see what we can find out. Age before beauty there, Hattie. Come on back, guys, we'll show you around. You got a lot of cameras in here. That makes us nervous. <laughs> Well, our spring puts out about 2.5 million gallons of water a day. Our water has a very unique chemistry to it. There's a lot of minerals in there, potassium, magnesium, things that give it that unique taste. But all that stuff is really engineered by nature. That's something else. Well, let's head outside. English Mountain Spring Water, it's incredibly famous. It won an award for best tasting water in the world. And, you know, I would love to have access to it. We know it's fantastic water. Would you be opposed to us bringing a little small still in here and doing a little experimental run and see what it'd do? Could be a selling point on down the line. You know, there might be some big distillery somewhere want to come in here and buy tanker truck loads of it. You could say, hey, look here what this water makes when it comes to alcohol. Well, you know, I've always wondered, you know, what else it could do. I think we could, I can allow you to make a, maybe a small run. I don't need to know anything about it. Fair enough. If that's agreeable to the two of you all. Well, I'm going to climb up on a rock to shake your hand, my friend. I think it's too. I think it's very kind of you. I can't remember when I've been any more excited about making one run of liquor. This is a dream come true for this old boy. If you'd told me no, I'd been just as happy going out here because of what I got to come look at. Well, I appreciate that. It's a slow stream, but it's steady. You know, any old timer that's been involved in this craft will tell you that water is your most important ingredient. If you don't have good water, you ain't gonna make good liquor. John's doing us a solid, though, by letting us make this run here. You ain't just kidding. Anything that man asked for, shy hiding the body, we need to do it. I'm a getting the grain measured out. This holds two pounds, so I just have to keep track of how many I dump in there. We're gonna use the same grain bill of the barley, corn, and rye. The water is gonna make a huge difference in this. This water has been scrutinized by the best in the business, and it has been declared the best water in the world. It's good water and make good liquor, but how good is what we've gotta find out. All right, ready? Yep. Uno, do, three. John gave me a copy of his water analysis for the mineral content, and honestly, it's better than that spring in town. Right here's one of the best still sites it could ever be. Let me make a motion here on something. Making a motion. Maybe for future endeavors, however much this makes, let's just give it all to John. I'm all for it. He might look at us in a different light if he likes it really good. 
you know, we're having a lot of conversations about if it's good, how are we going to approach John about maybe staying here or what we're going to do to continue using this water. There's a lot of questions running through our mind. We ain't going to need this stuff no more. No, we? we can load it up. Let's take it home. We're not guaranteed access beyond this run. But maybe if John tastes this, see how good it is, maybe he'll let us continue on working right here. I'll see you in the morning. All right. Just jump up on it. This thing should take off really quick. But you're going to do something about that hat. It's growing damn canker in it. That black mold's growing right there. Oh, that ain't black mold. That's lard and shit off my fingers. That's what's feeding that mold. And there's another story. We're getting hot here. Oh, hell yeah, boy. You better get us a catch jug. We only have permission to do one run here. It's a catch 22. If this is really good liquor, we may have a problem. We're not allowed to stay here. If it isn't as good as what we've been running, where do we go from here? We gotta catch some heads here. There we go, Hattie. English Mountain Spring Water, Tennessee Wiki. Well, you know, it's the way Tennessee whiskey is supposed to be made in, in Tennessee. Tennessee. That ain't nothing but fine. Boy, it's good, though. Damn, it's just perfect. Liquor that good will mess you up. Oh, my God, can you imagine when it comes out of a barrel? This liquor is outstanding. It's better. It's got a sweeter note. Everything comes across well in the palate. It's a shame that we can't sit up here and just make camp right here and work for a couple of years. This is the water source for Tennessee whiskey. I want ever mess that water in town again. No. If we can have this water. I think it's better than what we've been making. It's dandy, dandy liquor. This is where our problem just begins. Now we have got to find a way to get permanent access to this water. This is a dilemma for us bad. If he loves it, then we're in business. He'll want more of it. There goes them butterflies flipping and flopping my belly again. Them bubble guts. God, nice. I gave John a call. He's going to come on over. I can't say that I'm not uneasy at this point. Well, hey, Mark. Hey, Digger. Hey, John. Hey, John. <laughs> I got to break a question to him. Can we stay here and run on for a while? This right here, made on your water, tampered on your water. I don't think you can get much prettier and clearer than that. No. You can tell he's a lonely man tightened that lid up. <laughs> <laughs> Strong hands. I tell you, it's, uh, I'm proud of it. It's about 95 proof. That's just right. That's smooth. That gets you hurt in a hurry. That's like a good marriage. It'll put you on your knees quick. <laughs> Guys, I tell you, I, I just, I've had some moonshine. I've never tasted anything that's like this. This water is so cold. And that's the secret. When you're when you're condensing it, the colder you can keep it, the Get less it fire the vapor as efficiently that, as possible. That it that it puts <clears throat> into the taste, the finish yeah. of it. You know, that's that's your water. That's and and I had no wow. doubt that it would do that. Is there any chance at all you'd let us set up here for an extended period to make a little liquor? That's a that's a big question. Well, guys, you know, I mean, it's as much as I like it and as much as I like the product and, you know, we run a, a very legal business and you all run a very illegal business. And I just, for right now, under those pretense, I just don't see the two mixing. I feel in our heart of hearts that was the answer that we knew we would get. We've never, ever been in a more perfect spot, but we understand your situation as well. You know, I feel like I've been slapped away from a table for farting. And, but it's also, it's not a surprise. Well, let me ask you something. Yes, sir? Have you ever thought about, would you consider going into a partnership? And you don't have to answer me now. I mean, it may not be something you all consider, but I've always wondered about our water. You've proved it now. 
I just throwing it out there. I mean, that just that's the first thing that hit my mind, you know. That's awful attractive. He thinks that he and I and Mark need to form a partnership and build a legal distillery from the ground up here on this spring.